Hi babes, it's Gabby. We're gonna get right into this Blunt Cut Color Pixie wig. And it's fall, so I'm trying out a little bit of color, so let's get into it. All right, so to start off, I did create an outline here. I'm gonna freeze frame because I wanna show you this point is the right eyebrow arch and the other side is the left eyebrow arch and then I've connected them together to make that U shape. All right, and then of course that middle point is just the middle of my head. You really don't need that as a guide. Um, at all in this tutorial. All right, I also created an arch above the left side of my ear and the right side just to outline those two key areas because I want a snug fit and a unique fit for this unit. So I'll be cutting those out towards the end of the video. All right, and then this last point is just a reference point for your track placement. You don't wanna have them too close or too far apart. So just use that as a guideline. So getting into the hair, I wanted to add just a little bit of black in the back. Um, so I'm gonna use hair that I've used previously with my other pixie wigs and we're just going to go for the smallest um, track. All right, so track placement and how to lay your tracks. This is going to be that section of the video for you. All right, so obviously I've got the first track laid and I did go ahead and secure this unit with a bunch of pins around the perimeter so that it does not move during the placement. And do not sew through the ear, sew around the ear because again, we're going to be cutting that out at the end. All right, so as you can see here, I went around the ear and I'm just above the ear at this point. So we are done with the black and now we're gonna get into some color. I bought some thread. Um, it's about a 30 color, I believe, um, but it works just well for the 27 as well. So we're gonna lay the 27 color here first. Uh, make sure you secure the edges of the track so that it does not lift at the end of this tutorial because we're gonna be doing a lot of cutting, a lot of things to this unit and you don't want anything to be lifting during that process. All right, so here is that completed first colored track. And we're gonna go in with this 30 right here. All right, and we're just gonna alternate the two. We're gonna go with the 27, and then we're gonna go with the uh, 30 after that. All right, and I also wanna mention, don't go into that U shape just yet. We're just gonna build until we get to the top of this unit. So stop at that white guideline um, U shape at the top, and then we'll be good to go. All right, so as you can see here, I added the colors. It looks really, really good. I love the way it's looking right now. And here at this point, we're gonna start to lay the tracks from left to right and straight across. All right, all the way up to that white guideline and then we're gonna stop. All right, so as you can see here, I'm going in with the color and we're just gonna lay the tracks straight across. Still alternating the colors and then eventually we'll close it up. All right, so as you can see here, we've got that last track laid right on the edge of that U shape. Um, and it's just right up against that line. All right, so now we're gonna be laying the tracks across in the front of the unit. All right, so I'm starting off with this 27 going straight across. And once again, we're gonna alternate the colors until we get to this shape right here, which at some point you're gonna get this shape and then you're gonna start to go around in a circle. So I've got my little circle here and then I'm just gonna secure that last track in place with a couple of knots. Flip it. Now it's time for the closure. So I decided to go with the 30 just because I thought it looked better. And yeah, I'm gonna try it on just to make sure it actually looks nice, but it's got the little net in the back, which is helpful when you're sewing this unit. Um, you can also glue it as well, but I don't like to glue it. All right, and then here I'm just putting a rubber band on the closure so that I can see um, see it better when I'm actually sewing this closure onto um, the top of the unit. So at this point, we're just gonna smooth everything out and see how it's looking. And that's the closure. It's really, really nice. And so now we can move on to the rest. All right, so it's important to identify where your ears are and separate them with a rubber band, some clips, whatever you have to do um, to section off that part around the ears. 
once you have that done, you can start cutting um, to make sure you can di differentiate between the back and the front of this unit. So I'm just cutting with this razor comb here. After I did a little bit of cutting, I'm going to cut out this ear on the left and the right side. And then here is also some inside construction to the unit as well. And I've also added two wig combs that I've had previously from back in the days when I used to make units. All right. So here's the first try on. We're going to go ahead and cut this unit. If it seems like I'm going fast, um, please feel free to slow it down. Rewind the video if you need to at any point. Um, but this is just, you know, my guy to how I cut my pixie units. I've tried this twice before this video and I will link those videos down below for you if you are interested. Um, but just take your time, really try to figure out, you know, the points where you want your your pixie wig to lay how you want it to lay what style you want to go with because there are plenty of pixie um, styles that you can do you don't have to just go with the the ones i have on my channel or this one here you can definitely go with something else that you may have seen or something that you feel flatters you the most all right so i'm just gonna keep cutting away and i'll come back um to cut the unit a little bit more on my blockhead as well so here is where i've outlined distinctively where my ear is and I'm going to go ahead and flat iron the front with a old, a very old flat iron back in the days when I used to be relaxed. Um, and so, yeah, I'm just going to quickly flat iron that. I do go back and flat iron it with some heat spray um, at the end, some heat protectant. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> I do go back and spray it with some heat protectant, but that is once I'm done cutting the unit and I want to just finish up the style. All right, and I'm just razoring a little bit more of the back. All right, so at this point, this is how the back is looking. I'm just gonna finger comb it a little bit with my hands and just to see if I've got the shape and color that I want. Okay, so here is the final try on and here's where I'm gonna add all of the finishing touches to this unit. And as you can see here, I've already uh, flat ironed the unit with, um, what is it? The heat protectant, all right? So that's why it looks so smooth and shiny. All right, so we're just gonna comb it out, add some finishing touches, add some last minute cuts, and also add a little bit more color to this unit. I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a moment. So here I'm going to be adding some black hairspray. I've had this for a while. I'm not even sure why, um, but I'll link it down in the description box if you're interested. I'm going to spray it. And I was like, I'm going to spray it right now on camera, but no, sis. Like, I felt like I was going to really mess it up and spray it in the wrong area. So I decided to do it off camera and I'm going to show you how that looks. All right, so here is how it looks. It has this gradient effect, which just came out naturally like that. Um, so I really love the fact that it did that. Um, and I feel like it made the unit look a little bit more realistic. So at this point, we're just doing some finishing touches and then I'll show you the final look.
All right, so here is the finished look. I still feel like I'm gonna do a little bit more cutting, but this will work for me for now. Um, this is the unit back on my block head, and I'm just gonna give you a few more angles just so you can see this unit in detail. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section below, but this is my second, or this is my third attempt at a pixie wig, and I'm just getting better and better with time. So I'm gonna show you all of the angles, how this wig looks. The color mix is just popping. I love the way it's layered and cut, and yeah, this just works for me. Okay, babe, so that is it for today's video. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. This will definitely be one of my go-to protective styles for the fall. Thank you guys so much for staying tuned through the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.